Hello. Greetings from Coral Gables, Florida. This is yours truly, Arthur Denchfield, also known as Arcturos Rex on Twitter, Arthur Denchfield on Facebook. <clears throat> Today is Sunday, October 28th, and behind you, behind me, excuse me, you see all the signs uh, in front of the Coral Gables Public Library, and I took advantage of this early voting to, to vote a straight Republican. And I urge all those of you who see this video to do the same. And uh, we're very enthusiastic about Maria Elvira Salazar uh, for the district number 27, of which I am a, a, a citizen, shall we say. Uh, estamos uh, esperando a Maria Elvira que usted gane eh, su posición en, en, este, en esta votación muy importante para el país. Es muy necesario para todos votar, votar este año. It's to, to vote in the year 2018 is an absolute must. Again, we, we congratulate the Coral Gables Public Library here uh, for having the early vote. This is Precinct 636. Three, 636. Again, uh, President Donald Trump won with 306 electoral votes. I used to live at 3601 Durango Street when I joined the Marine Corps uh, and they assigned me to Platoon 3006 in Paris Island, uh, South Carolina, uh, way back in 1965. 1965. We, as I've reminded many, uh, King Arthur was born in 465, and that's the, the time that I attended Marine Corps recruit training, and I graduated in December of 1965 from the June 3006, and here we have uh, the, the precinct number 636, and it's just amazing, all these things that go on. Uh, we, we wish a very, uh, we wish the Republicans the greatest of success in a huge red wave uh, because of the necessity uh, for making America great again and for making America strong again and for making America safe again. And we, we wish, we pray for God's holy blessings on, on President and, Miss, and Mrs. Donald Trump. Uh, Vice President and Mrs. Mike Pence, and all the members of the Trump administration, uh, especially Kellyanne, uh, Kellyanne Poles, Kellyanne Conway, excuse me, and all those who have been instrumental in helping Mr. Donald John Trump win uh, in 2016. Again, he won with 306 electoral votes. I was born on 3642, that's March 6, 1942. I even told the people here that the precinct number was after my birthday. And we used to live at 3601 Durango Street from two, uh, 1959 to the year 2000. And now I live in a house close by. And uh, it's just remarkable. And of course, Lejeune Road is 42nd Street, and I was born in 1942. What does all that mean? Maybe nothing. But with God, there are no co coincidences. And again, we encourage all those who can vote to vote, to vote today, no matter what, to vote Republican. Because the communists have taken over the Democratic Party, and the communists posing as Democrats are behind so much of the anarchy and the violence that is taking place on, on, on many areas, in many, in many areas of the United States of America. It's shameful. It's something that should be forbidden. Uh, and, it, and it certainly makes America look uh, like it's schizophrenic, to, to put it mildly. Again, we, we wish you the very best, Mr. Trump, and we thank God for, the, for your win in 2016, and we also congratulate First Lady Melania Trump, Melania Trump for her extraordinary work uh, as a First Lady. She's by far the best and the most beautiful First Lady in U.S. history, and that's been attested to by millions and millions of people, including the New York Times of all, of all entities. Again, we wish, uh, we wish the, the Republicans on the, on the ballot here all the success of victory 
and especially uh, do we personally uh, wish that Maria Elvira Salazar, whom we used to follow on television, especially during the Venezuelan elections, uh, we wish her the greatest of success because she has the spirit. Ella, usted, Maria Elvira, usted tiene el fuego, el fuego necesario para levantar mucha gente, muchas almas, para la, la liberación, la liberación de los países que están esclavizados por el comunismo hasta ahora. Por ejemplo, Cuba, Venezuela, Nicaragua, etc., etc., etc. And we feel that Maria Elvira Salazar is, is, is a, great, uh, a great person to take the place of Ileana Ross Lettinen, whom we, of course, supported uh, for so many years. And um, uh, we wish also that DeSantis and, 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 and the governor, the current governor, uh, that he be reelected as well, uh, it, that he be elected to the position he seeks. And uh, uh, it's, it's a shame that so many lies are going all over the place, uh, put out by the Democrats who believe in the Alinsky method. The Alinsky method of causing all kinds of problems is something that Hillary Clinton Barack, and Barack Obama, they, they major in, they, 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 they espouse and promote. Anyway, today is the feast day of St. Simon and Jude, and St. Jude is the apostle of, known as the apostle of the impossible. And so we ask St. Simon and Jude, but especially St. Jude, who, who takes care of the impossible cases, to allow the Republicans a clean sweep here in these midterm elections, and that the wave may be a huge red wave. I even told an elderly lady who was being wheeled out in her wheelchair from the boating inside. She, ha she had a beautiful red costume on. And I said in Spanish, que color lindo, el rojo. And then, then I explained the red, she was a symbol of the great wet, red wave that was about to hit America uh, in, a few, in a few days. And with that, I say to you, uh, God bless you. God bless America. Let's make America great again. Let's make America strong again. Let's make America safe again. And all those there in that invasion, invasion in south of Texas and Arizona and so on, that they may be stopped because there are criminals in their group. And, and it, a country is not a country unless it has a border, unless it has a frontier where people have to process, go through a process of entry. And if we allow this invasion to take place, then, then we're not much of a country at all. Some people have suggested that these, these invaders, they just be escorted all the way to Canada. Uh, that's a very interesting idea. But anyway, may God uh, protect all those, all those who are being used uh, to make this invasion, uh, who are being paid by George Soros and others. Uh, George Soros, why is he still free? We don't understand that. How can this man who has created so much chaos in Europe with these open borders and, and financed revolution all over the world, how can he still be a free man? This is a, a real mystery. And how, how can Hillary Clinton, after all the crimes that she committed, including the Benghazi scandal and so on, still be free? And Barack Obama, he was born in Kenya, and he, he, lied, all, he lied his way all the way in, in, in politics. Even his brother, Malik Obama, has d denounced him. And, and, and you can see all that on YouTube and so forth. And with that, I better go because this is getting a little long-winded. And I take this opportunity to, to salute my dad, Arthur Denchfield Jr., who passed away way back when, 1981, July 3rd, here in Coral Gables. He was a great defender of the Biltmore uh, Hotel, which was about to be demolished. And, and he and some other people signed a petition to, to prevent it from being torn down. And that was a long time ago. That was like in the 70s, I believe. And now it's the beautiful Biltmore Hotel here in Coral Gables, renovated with, I don't know, $100 million or more. And that's just one of many uh, beautiful uh, buildings and, 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 and places here in the city beautiful that is the city of Coral Gables. Finally, I urge you, I urge you to, and all the African-Americans, 
they should look at Blexit.com. Blexit.com for your, your freedom from the Democratic Party. Blexit, B-L-E-X-I-T.com. Go there and, and, and see the wonderful things that are happening to, to free and liberate the American blacks from the plantation, the Democratic plantation that has kept them down uh, for such a long time. And with that, I have to go. God bless you. God bless America. But especially God bless President Trump. God bless Mrs. Trump and the entire Trump family. And we thank God also for not allowing any of those explosives that were sent to be, uh, to be detonated. Nobody got hurt. And we can't help but wonder if Almighty God is not using this incident uh, to rebuke the communists posing as Democrats for all the anarchy and violence that they have espoused in the last two years. M-A-G-A. -A, make America great again. Amen.